Golden Deeps is an explorer developer focused on copper, gold and zinc in the Lachlan Fold Belt of New South Wales, Australia, where the company recently announced significant copper zinc sulphide intersections. The company is also exploring the Atavi Mountain Land Copper District of Namibia, where it has advanced vanadium and copper lead zinc silver resource projects. Joining me to discuss more is Golden Deep CEO, John Dugdow at the Stock Network. John, welcome. Thank you, Lel. What makes the company's tenements in the Lachlan Fold Belt strategically significant and how do the geological results from your exploration efforts compare with previous discoveries in the region? So the key strategic point is that we've picked up a large tenement holding on the eastern of four large volcanic belts in the Lock and Fold Belt of New South Wales. Now, the other three to the west of us all contain major copper gold discoveries. Our tenement holding is in an area that hasn't had a huge amount of previous exploration. So our new results, we've been able to identify a significant new sulphide zone, and we've got sulphide spread over a very large area there. It includes significant intersections of both copper and zinc sulphides, and we're hoping we'll have a little bit of gold in it as well. So it looks like we're onto a, a new system, a big sulphide system in an area that has had very little previous exploration. John, given your extensive background in exploration and funds management, what differentiates the company's current approach and long-term potential from other companies in the Lachlan Fold Belt region? Well, certainly, in the area we're exploring, there's been very little work that's looked really at the, the deeper third dimension, if you like. So what differentiates our work in that area is that we've been using three different methods of geophysics in conjunction with the, the surface geochemistry to develop targets that are really truly in third dimensions. Now, that's been something that people haven't done in this area before. It certainly has been done in areas where there have been major discoveries like the KDA Ridgeway discovery. So we're actually using lessons that those other companies like Newcrest and Alkane have applied in their discoveries to apply to this new belt. What are the key exploration milestones the company has achieved in Namibia's Atavi mountain land and how does operating in this historic copper district enhance your strategy? In Namibia, we've got large holdings again, but in the Atavi Mountainland Copper Belt, which is also a world-class terrain. So the key milestones we've delivered there is we've been able to define significant resources of vanadium, copper, lead, zinc, and silver, which um, are now forming the basis of a study into a potential short-term, um, short to medium-term development opportunity. But the other key milestone is that we've been able to identify deeper extensions of copper, silver, um, and zinc, and a bit of antimony that are now completely open at depth. So the milestone, uh, I guess, are twofold. One, new resources that may be possible to be developed, but also we've identified potential extensions that could result in, in major resource increases. How does Golden Deeps plan to leverage its copper projects in the Lachlan Fold Belt and Namibia to meet the growing global demand for copper in renewable energy and electrification? Well, we think we're in the right commodities, obviously. Um, copper is a, a, a particularly important component of the re renewable energy transition. So we've been busily building up our ground holdings, defining targets so that we're now ready to, to one, move forward with our existing discoveries, but also identify new targets for, for not only just copper as, a, as a, uh, a strategic element, but also other things like vanadium in Namibia, um, zinc and silver, also get a Guernsey in the renewable energy space. And obviously gold's always good to find. With Golden Deep's diversified portfolio across copper, gold, zinc, vanadium and silver, what opportunities are you pursuing, especially in light of government support for critical and strategic minerals? Well, certainly in Australia, there's very strong support, including, including funding for development of uh, strategic um, and critical elements projects. So we see multiple opportunities. There's, there's support for exploration within, within New South Wales where you can access co-funding but there's also research and development funding for these sorts of projects. And then there's the potential to tap directly into the government's critical elements uh, funding strategy. And we also see the same sort of support in Namibia, maybe not quite as, as formal, but obviously um, the governments in all these areas are very keen for projects such as what we're looking at 
um, in the critical element space to be to be moved forward. What approach or techniques is Golden Deeps adopting to maximise exploration success and what kind of company are you aiming to create long term? Um, so the sort of company we want to develop into is we want to go from being a discoverer to a developer. And that's got to be the aim of all the companies like us is to, is to take projects forward and then um, eventually build mines. And we hope to be producing um, you know, copper and potentially vanadium, um, certainly in, the, uh, in the, the medium, if not the, uh, the longer term. Well, John, thank you so much for the update on Golden Deeps. Thank you, Lel. 